There was <clears throat> finally got back and um, sorted out the drawers. The faces had uh, buckled, got it sorted, and I put the rebates back on. So you can see the rebates all done with the Veritas skew rebate hand plane. That's all done. So my next job, right, is to put a round on this. Okay, we're going to show you how I do that. So before I start, I'm going to show you what I've done. So you can see there now that we have a lovely round on that. Okay, the lovely, lovely round on that. Um, all done with a hand plane. So the plane of choice is a number four. And it's a skew hollow is what it is. And the blade, it's 5 sixteenths of an inch. That's how it's sold. Or it was sold to me as a 5 sixteenths of an inch. So 9 millimetres or thereabouts is what the round is. And you can see there yourself, it's a very, 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 very small hollow. Well, you can make it out. Look, it's so, it's so bloody small. You can, there you go. Anyway, so what you're going to see is I put a false block, which is a piece of MDF, up against the end grain so we don't get any blow out. Okay, the next thing we'll do is we'll take the hand plane in question, which is the number four, five sixteenths of an inch skew hollow, and we'll make our first couple of passes. There we have it, there's the round that I'm looking for. It's only a very small, slight round, okay? So let's do the long grain, the long grain. And so now this is the long grain. And so there we have it guys, we have the round over complete. Okay. And surprisingly, you know, it's a super easy process. The hand planes can't be made any simpler. This particular hand plane here, when I purchased it off eBay, goes circuits back as far as 1830 to 1933 around that company went that long um, at least that's what it says uh, lovely 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 little hand plan the pluses I use in these is there's no noise there's no dust and there's no running around looking for a transformer or a PowerPoint or an extension lid. You just simply take it out of its press and use it. That's it. Okay, guys. Just a little bit on the drawer fronts. Um, I've not been at the cabinet much lately. I'm just taking a bit of time out from it. But there you go. Hope that was of use to you. Cheers.